everybody I am back with another favorites video this one is going to be adhesives so I do a lot of different types of projects I do layouts mixed media projects altered projects cards all sorts of different things so I have a lot of different uh, adhesives and glues for different things and I am going to explain what type of glue I like to use uh, for the different types of projects that I'm going to be going to make um, and I don't I don't have any projects to share with you today um, because I just I didn't get them out and it's I think you guys will get the idea um, once I explain what um, type of projects I use a specific uh, adhesive for um, but before I get started, I did want to thank you guys so much for all of your support on all of these videos lately that I've been doing. Uh, and I did want to say, I normally don't announce giveaways, but I wanted to t let you guys know that once I get back from Creativation, which is next week, I will be doing a giveaway on um, one of the videos, my favorites video. So I will have a playlist in the upper right hand corner of all of the videos in the series I guess <laughs> and uh, you need to make sure to comment on all of them because I'm going to randomly pick a video and then randomly pick a winner I'm not sure what I'm gonna give away I might do a few things a few people um, but I thought it was would be a good um, thing to do new year new decade um, yeah so um, as always, the supplies are listed down below, and I'm sorry for rambling so much, but uh, I have a lot to say, <laughs> I guess. All right, let's do uh, layouts. So I like my ATG gun for when I make scrapbook layouts. Sometimes when I do cards, depending on the size panel I'm putting down on my card base, um, but this you can run a a strip normally it sticks to paper but it's really easy to use it did take me a few times to get the hang of how to um, change out the refill uh, but I've had this for a very long time a lot of people alter theirs um, I'm not the greatest the biggest fan of the yellow orange but I really enjoy um, this ATG gun they do have smaller um, little tape runners like these. Um, I will actually use these sometimes for my cards, uh, but I typically use this one. This one's my favorite for um, do adding paper to paper a lot of times. So that is that. All right, another favorite is the double-sided adhesive from scrapbook.com. They have so many different types. So they have these sheets, they have smaller squares, they have rolls. So this one is, I believe, an eighth of an inch. This is a quarter of an inch. And then they have the Big Mama Roll, which has lasted me forever, it seems like. Um, I use this on layouts as well. I use it on cards. I will use it when I'm die cutting and when I layer um, papers together uh, and run it through my die cut machine. Um, I, I love this stuff. So I use it all um, depending on what I am using it for. I like the rolls for, um, for cards, also for mini albums, that sort of thing. So again, another paper to paper adhesive. Uh, I typically use this one for cards and then the ATG gun for layouts. So just to kind of give you an idea, cause yeah, I use both for paper to paper, but that is these for cards, my ATG gun for layouts. Uh, let's see, uh, die cuts. So when I shared my favorite dies, I um, shared that my favorite glue to use is the connect glue from Gina K it is amazing it comes out really thin um, it's never clogged on me or anything like that and it's lasted me quite a long time and I can um, adhere teeny tiny pieces together if I need to or like a little dot 
uh, you know, for an eye or something onto my card or wh whatever. Um, so this is definitely a good glue to have. Um, another one that I really like to use is the Deluxe Adhesive from Nuvo. Again, for um, probably bigger dies, die cuts, um, I use this for sequins, I use it for, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Adding little pieces if I'm paper piecing or something like that. Um, that's what I use that for. And then I also love the double-sided foam adhesives from scrapbook.com. Um, all of their exclusive items are amazing. Um, the ones that I've tried anyways, I, I genuinely love their products. I purchase them on my own and I absolutely love them. So if you're looking for, I think they have squares um, and different sizes and things like that. So the foam dots are a good thing to have as well, just to kind of pop up something really quickly. If I'm going to pop up a card base or like, or I'm sorry, like a panel onto a card, I will use um, full sheets of foam, uh, like the fun foam. I won't use dots because it just takes too many. All right, another thing I like is this purple tape. I like to use this when I am die cutting or when I need to tape down a stencil um, to my card because it's very low tack and it doesn't rip your paper or anything. So I think this is from Thermoweb, I think, pretty sure. Um, but this is another one, a good one to have uh, for that. So die cutting, um, if you need a small die to stay in place or again, if you're doing lots of ink blending, um, you can tape down your card base or a stencil to um, your card base or something like that. Uh, the next one is a repositionable light tack adhesive. This is um, from iCraft and I absolutely love it. It really helps when I am doing ink blending with stencils. So you spray it on the back of a stencil, wait a minute, um, and then your stencil will be sticky to your paper, uh, but not so sticky that when you pull it up, you're going to rip it just enough to where it stays in place when you're doing ink blending or anything like that. So this is a good thing to have as well. And also if you do a lot of like scene cards, so you need a little bit of uh, adhesive on um, like a stamped image that you're going to mask off, you know, your card or anything like that. This is really good to have um, as well. All right, a lot of people ask me what I use for my, for my mixed media projects. I don't use any of these for my mixed media projects unless it's a, like a layout. Um, these are the um, adhesives that I use for mixed media, whether it's an altered project or whatever. Fabri-Tac, I use on everything. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. Um, I use it paper to paper. I won't necessarily use it when I'm doing, um, when I'm gluing a metal piece to say like a jar or something where it's going to sit upright because eventually this is, this is pretty good glue, but eventually it's going to, you know, over time it might fall off or something like that because the a metal piece is pretty heavy. So you want something a little bit more durable than Fabri-Tac, but like layouts, I use this all the time to add my flowers, to add um, die cuts and all sorts of different things. Um, and also on my mixed media projects. When I'm creating a project, uh, like an altered project or something that I know is going to be handled a lot, maybe like an altered cigar, cigar box or something like that. And again, when I'm using like metal to metal or metal to glass, I will use heavy body gel. This stuff is amazing. It's once it's dry, it's not going anywhere. Um, and yeah, it's it's amazing. It's very thick. It doesn't come out of the jar um, and I've had it for a long time because 
a little bit goes a long way in my opinion. So this is another great one to have if you do mixed media. Um, and it is heavy body gel and it's transparent. Um, it's really, really great. Uh, another one is E6000. I use this a lot on my mixed media projects as well, uh, especially for, again, metal to metal, um, that sort of thing, because you don't want to use hot glue, which I learned the hard way after lots of years <laughs> of using hot glue constantly on things. Um, and uh, you don't want to use Fabri-Tac if, you know, the piece is heavy that you're adding to a project that's going to sit upright, um, could possibly fall off or something. So E6000 is, E6, is another one that I absolutely love as well. So those are all my favorites. Um, yeah, I don't think I have, I have like my Nuvo pens and things like that. I don't really grab for those. Um, but other than that, this is my adhesive collection. I absolutely love all of them. Um, my daughter actually loves Fabri-Tac as well. She takes this stuff all the time and I'll find the cap off and then I'll have to buy another one. Um, but, uh, a little tip for Fabri-Tac, a lot of people ask, has, have asked me if mine gets tacky. I don't know if it's because I use it up fairly quickly or if I get the smaller bottle or what the case may be, but mine doesn't really become really hard to get out of the bottle. Um, I think maybe cause I use it up too fast or something, but yeah. So try to use it as, as you know, and then when you're not using it, obviously you want to put the, the lid on and then a smaller bottle might help as well to, um, not kind of dry it out as fast because a bigger bottle obviously you're not using as much and there's more in there so anyways that is my adhesive favorites again if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up all of the supplies will be listed down below uh, if you are new to my channel i hope you subscribe and hit that bell and turn on all notifications so you're notified every time that i upload a video and i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later bye